I am Gloria Miller and this is Crochet Du Jour tutorial number 23, how to crochet this textured ear warmer. Now before I get into today's project, I just want to mention that this tutorial is part of my textured series and I just want to bring to your attention two other items in that series that might be of interest in case you want to make matching set. So the first item I want to show you will be the fingerless gloves or the wrist warmers. I just recently did a tutorial for this lovely item and it is the same textured pattern so that would be great to have as a set of two and if you want to really zhuzh it up then I also have these boot toppers and you can add that as well to your set and I love these boot toppers because they're quite versatile I use them with my tall fashion boots I also use them with my ankle boots as well as with my wellies so they are quite versatile and as we go into the in-between season where the weather can be a bit warmer during the day but get a bit cooler at night these are great items to just throw in your handbag and if you're feeling a little bit chilly you just grab them put them on and then you're lovely and toasty so i am going to leave a link in the description box where you can grab a pattern bundle and that will include all three of these items so that will be the written pattern I will link to that and then I will also include links to the individual video tutorials for you to access as well the materials needed for today's project are Aran weight number four yarn and I am going to be using signet Aran and the colorway is crimson. I absolutely love this yarn. It is very soft, very lush, but you can use any weight for yarn. You'll also need a 5.0 millimeter hook, scissors, yarn needle for weaving in your ends, and a tape measure because I will be giving you the measurements for three different sizes, small, medium, and large. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video. You can also find me on social media at Crochet Du Jour and I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And please do tag me on any projects that you've made either from my patterns or from following a tutorial. Grab your materials and let's get started. For today's tutorial, I will be making a size small. If you grab the pattern, you will also see the measurements for a size medium and a size large. So for a small, the head circumference will be around 21 to 22 inches. And that means you will want your starting chain to be about 19 to 20 inches. And for the size medium, the head circumference is 22 to 23 inches. So you want your starting chain to measure between 20 and 21 inches. And for the large, the head circumference would be 23 to 24 inches. So you will want your starting chain to be between 21 and 22 inches. And you want to stretch your chain to reach those measurements. I'm making the size small, so our starting chain will be 60. We're going to start by making a slip knot. You can use your preferred method to do that. And we are going to do our starting chain of 60. And again, this is for the size small. To do a chain, you're going to yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Carry on with your chains until you reach your desired measurement. I have finished my chain of 60 and next we're going to join with a slip stitch into the first chain to form a circle. And before I do that, I'm just going to run my thumb along the chain to make sure that it is not twisting. And then I am going to join into that first chain with a slip stitch. And to do that, you're just going to yarn over and then you're going to pull through both of the loops on your hook. Just a note here that the first stitch of all of the rounds will begin in the chain space. So keep that in mind throughout the project and each round will finish by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. For round one, we are going to start with a chain two. And then we are going to do double crochet into the back bumps of the stitch. So instead of working in this part of the stitch as we would normally do, we're going to just flip that over and work within these back bumps. To back bump double crochet, we yarn over, we're going in to the back bump going to yarn over and then pull up a loop that gives us three on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do another one together. We yarn over, we go into that tricky little back bump of the stitch. Then we yarn over, we pull up a loop that gives us three on our hook yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Go ahead and continue with double crochet, back bump only all the way around, and I will meet you at the end of the round. I am going to finish round one by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. For round two, we are going to start with a chain two. And then we are going to be alternating front post, back post, double crochet. For the front post double crochet, we want to yarn over, insert the hook from front to back, and then from back to front, going around the double crochet from the previous round. The hook should now be positioned horizontally behind the double crochet that you are working on. Now we want to yarn over and pull up a loop. We now have three on our hook. Now we want to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that is our front post double crochet. Now to back post double crochet, we want to yarn over and then insert our hook from back to front, and then from front to back and we are going around the double crochet from the previous round and the hook should be positioned horizontally again in front of the double crochet that you're working around. Now we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. We now have three on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that is the back post double crochet. If you need a little more help with this, I do have a different tutorial just 
for front post and back post double crochet and I will put a link to that description in the right hand corner of the video as well as in the description box. So you want to carry on with front post, back post, double crochet all the way around and I will meet you at the end of the round. I'm going to finish round two by joining into the first stitch of the round with a slip stitch and now we are moving on to round three and just a reminder to count your stitches if you are making the small along with me you should have 60 stitches for both rounds one and two and if you are making other sizes make sure that your stitch count matches your number of starting chains. For round three, we are going to start with a chain one and then easy peasy single crochet all the way around. To do a single crochet, we're just going to go right into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. We have two on our hook, yarn over, pull through both of those loops on the hook. Easy peasy single crochet. So carry on with that all the way around in each and every stitch and I'll meet you at the end of the round. I am going to finish round three by joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch of the round. For round four, we want to chain one and then we are going to half double crochet all the way around. To half double crochet, we yarn over, go into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we have three on our hook, yarn over and then pull through all three of those those loops on the hook. Let's do another one together. Yarn over, go into that next stitch yarn over pull up a loop we have three on our hook yarn over and then pull through all three of those loops on the hook and carry on with this all the way around and i will meet you at the end of the round i am going to finish round four by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round for round five, we want to start with a chain two, and then we're going to double crochet all the way around starting in that first stitch. You want to make sure that your stitch count equals your starting chain. And if you are making a size small along with me, that stitch count will be 60. And I will meet you at the end of the round. I am going to finish round five by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. For round six, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet all the way around. Carry on with your single crochet and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I finished the round by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round and now we are moving on to round seven and we're going to start that round by doing a chain one and then we're going to do another round of single crochet and we're single crocheting in each stitch if you are making the size small your stitch count should be 60 if you are making medium or large, your stitch count should be the same as your starting chain. And I will meet you at the end of the round. Now we are moving on to round eight. To start that round, we're going to do a chain two. And then we are going to double crochet in each stitch around and you will finish the round by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. I will meet you there. For round nine we are going to start with a chain one and then we are going to half double crochet in each 
stitch around and I will meet you at the end of the round. I'm just finishing off round nine by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. Moving on to round 10, we are going to start by doing a chain one, and then we are going to single crochet in each stitch around, and I will meet you at the end of round 10. We are in the home stretch now with just two more rounds to go. So next up we've got round 11 and we're going to start that round by doing a chain two and then we are going to double crochet all the way around making sure that our stitch count matches our starting chain and we will finish this round by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. And I will meet you there. I'm going to finish up round 11 by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. And we are at our 12th and final round and that is going to be alternating front post back post double crochet I know these are a bit tricky but we are almost done so hang in there we're starting with a chain two and then we're going to do the front post double crochet and we're going to yarn over go next to the stitch of the previous row from front to back and then go around that stitch from back to front and then we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop giving us three on our hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that is front post double crochet to back post double crochet we yarn over and then we go from back to front next to the next double crochet from the previous round and then we go around that post from front to back and then we yarn over and pull up a loop that gives us three on our hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that is the back post double crochet we're going to continue with alternating front post back post double crochet all the way around just take your time and i will meet you at the end of round 12. i have arrived at the end of our final round and to finish off i will join with the slip stitch into the first stitch of the round and now we just want to chain one pull up a loop and then we're gonna cut our yarn and then tie off and there you have our completed textured ear warmer Go ahead and weave in those ends. Thank you so much for joining me for today's project, this lovely textured ear warmer. And just another reminder that there is a pattern bundle available. If you want to make matching sets, you can also add the wrist warmers or fingerless gloves as well as the boot cuffs and they are each done with the textured pattern that we use for today's project you will find a link in the description box as well as a little link over in that right hand corner to where you can look at all of the videos within my textured series just a reminder that if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell so that you are notified whenever I upload new videos. 
please leave any comments or thoughts on today's project in the comments area on my channel. I would love to hear from you. Also, you can find me on social media at Crochet Du Jour, and I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And please do tag me on any projects that you've made from either my videos or my patterns. I would love to see your makes. I'm Gloria Miller, and as always, I have enjoyed our time together. It's always a pleasure to share the gift of crochet. Please do join me again for future tutorials. Until then, I'm Gloria Miller, and this is Crochet Du Jour.